Hey people of the interweb, I'm Nostalgic Dave, and welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. October 19th, 9.42am, District Court Defendant Lobby Number 1. Okay? What voice did I give you again? Um, Mr. Wright? Yes? Why do you look good? So, I'm happy. Oh! Oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Uh-oh. She looks even unhappier. Phoenix! Your client is not practically a dead man walking! Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. Why? Why would you throw that out there? This is no time for dead people jokes, people. Please. Blech. You know? You know we're not gonna into this trial utterly defenseless. You know we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked? Yeah. We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that, or lose the trial. You don't have to win every trial. This isn't going to be easy. Course is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your, open, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday we learned that there were other people present at the studio. Today I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. Call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. Prosecution calls Mr. Salmonella to the stand. Nope, it's the director. Or the director. This is, this is how he's standing. That's so weird. <laughs> Will the witness state his name and profession? How rude can you get? You don't know me. I'm the director. I make the steel samurai. Noob. Problem. Oh, for the love of Pete. Mr. Salmano, I'm a director. Television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events that that. Oh. Ah! About the events of that day. Phoenix, let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. He doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. Yeah. I was at the studio from around 9 o'clock in that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run-through. That's a fact. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. I gave everyone else ate lunch in the employee area, but I had a meeting in the Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until 4 p.m. I'm assuming. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Okay. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at that time. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. What do I have in the court record again? I'm very forgetful. I don't know why. Hold on. Before I go anywhere, I want to see the court record. That's it. Okay. Press it. Is that when you always come into work? How is that relevant? Oh, oh no. I come in all sorts of hours. It's the industry week. Yeah, I know about the freaks in your industry. Still. FWIW. Oh, 
Oh, for what it was. Okay. Still, for what it was, I was pretty busy all that day. Tell us more about that. Gary, it's like... I'm just gonna... That's the thumbnail. Him on the side, me on the other side, and we'll have either... What, whoever the other person is who's testifying be in the center. That's what it's gonna be. Most likely, honestly, actually, that, yeah, that's what it's gonna end up being. I don't know, we'll see. Starting in the morning, I was doing it. Okay, I already read this. Yeah, that's a fact. In the employee area? No! No, it wasn't in the employee area, it was in the studio, wasn't it? Fight scene between the Steel Samurai and the Evil Magistrate. Was anyone else set the run through? Oh yeah, the security lady was sitting there watching the whole thing. Oh. She was cheering on Hammer, if you can believe it. She certainly has the lungs for it. Anyone else? Nope, just us four. What about the producer? What was she doing? Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you already heard about this. WP twisted his ankle during the run, you see. Oh, right, that's the limp. Which, of course, led to me missing my lunch. Roll with this. Roll on the floor... Sobbing? Because RFL is laughing. What the hell is S? Okay, so he has the same idea. Rolling on the floor. Sobbing or starving? Those are, yeah, those are like the only two that would make sense. So he'd be upset, crying, or be hungry, starving. I hear that everyone out there going to the employer. Yeah. What exactly did they have for lunch? Cheese on steak. Yes, just to cook something up. <laughs> there you go. Realistic version of that. Ugh. I'm gonna look back on that and I'm gonna be like, why did you do that? Come to think of it, there was a plate with some bones on it in the employee area. Yeah, but there were also plates in the... Everyone else? Everyone else, meaning that the witness did not eat with them. Yeah. But I ended up eating in Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. Did you? So, in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? Oh, cool. man up! Grow up! That must have been tough. Phoenix! Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Um... Well, actually... It's kind of... Oh... I don't know. It's not, not at all, it, I wouldn't say, it's not really, I can't say it's contradictory, wait. Is it contradictory? I'm tempted to push it to find out, I cannot remember for some reason. Uh, damn it! I wish I could remember this, here. It's a little vague, I'm gonna go with that one. Actually, there is something bothering me. Mr. Manala, just now you said steak, at least. So, you ate something other than steak? Yeah, good call. I had some chocolate. <laughs> yeah, that's most kids' reactions for that. Are you a child within? Maybe that's why you're acting this way. My pocket. I used to starve off starvation. What? That doesn't work. Is that all? I'm sure I was on to something there. That can't have been it. It's not, chocolate's not filling. We were in the meeting and said, okay. What were you discussing? The Steel Samurai story and our budget. Get this, the sponsor turned to me and say, Mr. Manel, those scripts of yours are not appropriate for children. Can you believe it? Welcome to the 21st century. <laughs> Actually, I kind of can. So, nobody left the table during the whole meeting. During the meeting? Well, I'm pretty sure no one left the chairs. 
Whoa, 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 I, I meant to press that last one. Hold on. You didn't take a single break. Uh, well, yeah, not in a while. Uh. Hold on. Wait a minute. If you didn't take a break, how would have you have eaten anything? Hold on, hold on a sec. Phoenix, sell by the world's is finished. I just pressed him on every single one. That other one, that one's contradictory. I mean, it's vague, yeah, but it's also contradictory. Is this the one? I did so many of them, I can't remember which one. Aha! Yeah, it's this one. It's contradictory. Yeah, it does seem odd, now that you mention it. Mr. Manella? <laughs> what do you want? That's like him. <laughs> when I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. Oh, okay, so I didn't have to press him for that anyway. There were two plates. The same kind of plates as the ones in the employee area. I'm gonna do the same just cause. Wait, no. Opposing way. Well, no, he is over there, so. Uh, who ate lunch there? <laughs> It's like, what are you doing? Dabbing forward? Is that is that like a forwards dab? Is that what that is? <laughs> no, uh, 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 call. I, I I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. I think it's more than just that. But I did eat after all. <laughs> okay, uh, T Bone Steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, this is it went through all the trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I suspected as much. So, when exactly did you eat it? He took one break to... CONTRADICTION! HOLD IT! HOLD IT! WRONG! WRONG! Okay, I'm gonna hold that. That's probably gonna end up being it right there. Oh, we'll see. <laughs> it's gonna be one of the other, I can say that much. Higher. We'll sit down then. Uh, mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If I took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. Bingo! I'll press on that one a bit more. Does he say the same thing? You didn't br take a single break? Well... Okay, yeah. We have read this. Hmm. Let's see swing switch. If only I did idea. That's where... Okay, it's different now. Wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. Wait a second! Mr. Manella... You just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell- Oh wait, I already did that. <laughs> I'm not going to do everything Phoenix does, but eh. Didn't you just contrad- Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? <clears throat> well? Um. Mr. Manella, what's this all about? Well, yeah, I, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job! If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. True. Your Honor, I call on the witness to testify on the court about the... Testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manila, your testimony, please. Uh... <laughs> Oh, no. Edgeworth is laughing. Yeah, for what it was, we took a break. But it was only 15 minutes. 
15. That's only 13 in base 12. I know math, thank you. You don't need to tell me this. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One, Lol. However, there's no way I would have just gone in one second. There's no way I, I'll admit, there's no way with like the math thing. I wouldn't have just like, they'll, they'll like go, okay, what's 13 in base 12? And I'll, I wouldn't go like off the bat, like 15. It would take me a moment, but I I would know it. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. <sighs> hmm. I don't think I I don't think it would even be enough time for that. But that's just me. Well, I mean if you want to savor it, then yeah, it wouldn't. It takes me about thirty minutes to eat whatever I get, so hmm. Well that's not true, it depends on where it's from. Well, very well. You may begin the cross-examination. Alright, what are we going to find here? There's going to be something. What it was, we took a break. It was only 15 minutes. 15. It's only 13 to base 12. Not enough time. To... Wait a minute. Well, what do I have as evidence, actually? those 15 minutes. Eating my T-bone steak. What else? There were two plates on the table. Oh, right. The other one was Divas. Sorry. Divasquez. <laughs> I mean, that's a... I guess that's a thing to call her. Divasquez, the producer. Do you know T-bone steak in 15 minutes? That's quite a feat. Yeah? I don't know... Why is that? Only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. What time exactly did you take this break? I'd say it was from two, from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's the time of death. So you could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. Is it possible time-wise? I'm gonna try. Hold up, hold up. Because I'm a wuss. Nah. I'll save just because I'm a wuss. Yep, you heard me right. I'm a wuss. I think maybe present. Damn it! I'll take. I'll take. I'll take the blow. I think it's one of these, but I don't... Nope. What the hell? I have no idea what it is, then. I honestly have no clue. Well. Uh... It's not the wrong track. It's the game only giving you one way to do something. It's retarded, actually. It's not on the wrong track, it's retarded. Hold on. What does the game want me to do? Hold on, I'm gonna look this up just because I'm a cheater.
Idea. I have no idea what to do. Why is that? Ah, there we go. Okay. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor, the testimony to this point... Oh, by the way. I didn't end up looking that up. I, I did not want to waste time trying to find the website that I went to. Because I don't even remember what website I went to. So, that was just random luck. Testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. People in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One. Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright. Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. This is where I should have saved, right here. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? I want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to studio to the studio in that time. Huh. Ah! I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Mrs. Monkey had, had barred the way. At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. Ergo, when the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Mrs. Monkey's severed head. Severed, whatever. It's actually Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we have seen enough evidence. I would like to re relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? It's over? Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio 1. They, therefore, have no relation to this case. That's not entirely true. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. That's not true! All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor! Ah, crap. The prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have some decisive evidence we've witnessed. Who is this witness, Mr. Ember? My witness saw the very moment when the steel samurai skewered the victim. Don't. If it is who I think it is, don't. Order. I will have order. I see. We'll take a 10 minute recess after which we will hear your witness. I don't like where this is going. Court is adjourned for recess. I don't like where this is going. What do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer is an alibi. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. But Mia! Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before. Not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there were... Can people not climb in this game? I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. 
all there is. Um, what's going on? It happened to me. It's kind of, it kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. If you're innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee it. You can do us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the steel samurai here to chill. Hero. Uh. You are the steel samurai hero to children everywhere after all. Hey. You. Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. Oh boy. I don't want to do it. I know what's gonna happen. I don't want to do it. Court is back in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution has a concern. As our witness is a grade schooler of tender years, and this is a murder case, we worry that the defense might cause unnecessary trauma with this cruel questioning. That's not what causes TBI, dude. For those of you who don't know, TBI is traumatic brain injury. And when people talk about trauma, that's... That's like... Trauma is a shorter way of saying that. At least in my mind. However, we have no choice. Prosecution calls Cody Hawkins to the stand. Ah, uh... Your Honor, perhaps you could arrange a box for him to stand on. Oh, right. Guard, please bring him a box. One of those donut crates, crates should do. That's a crate, not a box! Will the witness state his name and grade in school? Witness? What? Just cause you're all grown up don't mean you can push me around. <laughs> Ooh, burn! <laughs> Cody, answer his question, okay? Hey, it's you, the nice lady. <laughs> God. I'm Cody Hackins. I'm in second grade. <laughs> I can't not laugh about that. I get the feeling this is going to be a long, long day. Mr. Edgeworth, please remember that you're speaking to a child. Try to be gentle. Witness? Uh, I mean, Cody. He's having trouble with the gentle thing. <laughs> you were present, er, you were at Global Studios on the day of the, uh, incident. You got a problem with that? I'll hit you with my sword! Please tell us what you saw that day. What, Pops? You want me to tell you and Gramps with the beard over there? Just... I... What the... What? I... I did not mean to flick my hair while I was trying to do it. There. <laughs> Incidentally, photographic equipment is strictly forbidden in this courtroom. You're just getting punched in the gut several times. <laughs> ah! My apologies, Your Honor. He said he wouldn't testify if he didn't bring it. I'd like special permission if that's possible. Wait. So you're saying you had to bargain terms with a little kid? And you lost? Hey, I just got this new camera. Don't really know how to use it all that good yet. But I bring it with me wherever I go. Phoenix, I wonder if he had that camera on the day of the murder. Maybe. You'd better make a note in the, in the court record. Cody's camera added to the court record. Okay. Very well, Cody. Please testify to the court about what you saw the day of the incident. I don't think a second grader would know what the word incident means. 
I wanted to see you steal Samurai Rehearsal just once. I found a map on the internet and w went to the studios that day. I went through the woods off the path so that old lady wouldn't catch me. I was going for the studio. I got kind of lost on the way though, for about 30 minutes. That's a while. That's quite a bit of time to get lost. When I came out by the studio, there was the Steel Samurai. It totally rocked! Right before my eyes, out came the bad guy. Of course, the Steel Samurai took him down. POW! If I had my camera with me, that would have been the time for a shot, I tell ya. And Wait a minute, hold on. I'm gonna object to that statement, the one that he just said. Not this one, the one before it. Because... He has claimed that he always has his camera on him. That makes no sense. Anyway, I couldn't go get into the studio, so I went home. Hmm. Very well, the defense may begin its cross-examination. But be gentle. Remember, you're talking to a child. This kid is tougher than most adults we see in here, honestly. Yeah, fair. That one? Not that one? Not that one? That one! Objection. Yep. <laughs> Cody, what you just said seems, well, a little strange. Didn't you say before that you always bring your digital camera wherever you go? You were quite clear about that. How would somebody do that and not break their jaw? Well, my jaw's not broken, but I feel like that wasn't even enough. Cody, you shouldn't lie here. You understand that, right? Just right. Word with you. Uh-oh. Was I putting the pressure on too much? What is this digital camera contraption? What is this digital contraption you think you're talking about? Back in my day, we didn't have these thingamabobbers. It's, um, a digital camera. <laughs> How do I describe a digital camera? It's kind of a new sort of camera. How do I explain? Uh, yeah, exactly. Can I... I see. Anyway, Cody. I can't believe you wouldn't bring your camera on a trip to the studios. You did bring it, didn't you? <laughs> Mr. Wright! How cruel you are to terrorize a poor child so! How is that terrorizing? I, I don't care if he's a child or a prosecuting attorney. No one should lie in court. What do you mean, or a prosecuting attorney? You know exactly what he means. You've been going through it for the past how long now? Well, Cody? What? Yeah, so I had my camera, so what? You got a problem with that? <sighs> Is this seriously what kids were like two years, three years ago? In 2016? That's... Based off the game, that's supposed to be when this takes place, I guess? So you did have a camera? And did you use this camera? Well, why would I use it? I was too busy watching. I have a hard time believing that one, too. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about... Um, first of all, he's a second grader, so I would use... This is how I would say it. Okay, I'll read it as it said, and then I'll say how I would say it. Very well. Please testify to the court about what you were so busy watching. Okay. Actually, the only word I would change would be testify. I would change it to tell. Test instead of testify to the court, I would say please tell the court. How many second graders do you know actually know the, what the word testify means? I had no idea until I was like in fifth grade. Yeah, I had my camera with me. But I was glued to the action. I couldn't take my eyes off. I have a hard time believing that. The steel Samurai goes for the bad guy. Wham! Then, then the bad guy stopped moving. He's so strong. 
Steel Samurai rules! Um, I've got one problem with that. Uh, is that all? Well, that was brief. Just to write your cross-examination. Okay. Saving just cause, just in case. Okay. Not that one. That one I have a hard time believing. I feel like I'd either present the camera or his... one of these two. Okay, not that. It actually does con- ooh. ooh. I'm gonna break- I'm about to get a game over, I think. Sorry, I don't want to lose. I'm too much of a wuss. I seriously feel like it'd be this one. Is this one that... How is it not that? It does... Fine. I feel like I should press this. Why? Huh? What do you mean, why? Why wasn't the bad guy moving? Well, because the Steel Samurai brought him to justice. And how exactly did he do that? How did he do it? With the Samurai kick in it. Okay, nope. Nope. What? Don't give me that look, Pops. How should I play this? Some harder. Cody. Ah, there it is. There's the true there's the true way to do it. Why do you have to do it the one way? This is one reason why I like Ace Attorney Online. It's because you don't have just one way. You can present several different ways if you needed to. But what? Something's bothering me. Before you said that you couldn't take your eyes off the action. Y yeah. So what? Yet, you missed the most important part. Objection! What is the meaning of this? The witness has stated what he saw quite clearly. Objection! And yet, he missed the one most important part, which is the moment of the that the murder was actually committed. You know as well as I do that he's being vague. Tell me, what kind of murderer uses a samurai slap? You're dead! <laughs> It's just like, here. It's like, it's like Death By. The game Death By, it's just like. That's all it is. That's how. What kind of murderer? A murderer who's part of the game Death By. That murderer. But only that murderer, so. Mm. My point is, Cody, you may have seen some of the Steel Samurai's fight. But you missed the most important part, the killing blow. Order! Order! Mr. Wright, how could this be? Can you explain how he might have missed something so vital? Um, well, uh, that's... Yes, I can't. Phoenix, come on! Phoenix, I believe you're on the right track with this. Think, why didn't Cody see the climax of the fight? I know you. You can figure this out. Mr. Wright, your answer? His camera. We have ascertained that this young boy is a great fan of the Steel Samurai. Why wouldn't he watch the climax of the fight? Show evidence. I want to be safe than sorry. That's the only reason why I'm doing this. Paranoid! Show evidence. Show the camera. Your Honor, I have evidence. Evidence? Yes, Your Honor. Why did, why did Cody, oh, why did Cody look away from the fight? Because he looked away to look for his camera. Here's my proof. What's this? A camera? The camera? The witness stated that he recently received the camera. Yes, I'm aware of this. He wasn't entirely familiar with its operation. I'm aware of that too. Ah! Correct. 
Why would Co why would Cody be looking somewhere else at the critical moment? Because he was looking at his camera. He was trying to take a picture. Hey! Bullseye. What's your problem, Pops? You got a thing for picking on little kids. Pressing, not picking. Good job, Phoenix. Cody was lying, clearly. Smart of you to realize there was no way he could just stand there watching his hero and not take a picture. Right. Cody. There was only one reason why you would have looked away from the fight. And that was because you wanted to take a picture. But having just received your camera, you weren't used to using it yet. So, you missed the climax of the fight, correct? Yeah. Well, Phoenix? I'll bet you anything he's hiding more than that. Probably. Have him testify again. Right. He means business. Yeah, no kidding! Your Honor, the defense would like to request that Cody Hackens testify once more. Very well. Cody, could you please tell us about your camera? And about why you didn't take a picture of the fight? Um... Welcome to the real world, kid. And this is why I didn't want to do it. This kid right here. As badass as he is... Yeah, you're right, Pops. The Steel Samurai had just escaped from the clutches of the villain. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed it. That's all that happened. Yep. I feel like you're still hiding something. I don't remember what to do here. Anything strange in that testimony, Mr. Wright? Not sure. But I'd like to proceed with the cross-examination anyway. Edruth is just being utterly silent. It's bothering me. Okay. Is that all that happened? That's all? Yeah, I told you I didn't take a picture. I would have. Hmm, I would have once I got that lens open. Did he really not take a picture? Press him harder. Nah, he definitely would have taken a picture. There's gotta be something here I can use. Cody? Listen up, Cody Atkins. I know exactly what happened that day. You took a picture! Hey! Bullseye? H how did you know? I see through all your lies, Cody Atkins. It's one of my powers. <laughs> wow. This feels great. Yeah, yeah, I took a picture. Perhaps you can change your testimony to reflect this, Cody. He's a kid. I mean, come on. I took a few shots, but it was too late, so I erased him. Um... Did you? You erased them? Yeah. Why would you erase a picture of your beloved steel samurai victorious? Well, you know, why would I want to keep a picture like that? Are you stupid? How dumb do you think I am? He's becoming less and less cooperative. I'm finding a contradiction soon or some solid evidence. How can I pick holes in such a short testimony? Let's do something. Dig up the dirt, Phoenix. Find out what the kid's all about. So I held up my camera to take a picture. But the lens wouldn't open in time, so I missed. Take a few shots. So I erased them. I think I know what to do here. Yep. Yeah. Cody. What? Man, every time you say Cody, you follow him with something bad. I just wanted to thank you for giving me this the other day. Huh? Uh oh, right. What was it you told me then? 
I go to every live performance. I always take a picture when the Steel Samurai lands the final blow. Wazam! I got them all. I never miss one. A perfect collection. Oh, I know where he's going with this. <laughs> Cody, did you really get a picture of the Steel Samurai standing victorious over his foe? If you did, I find it hard to believe that you would just erase it. Wouldn't you keep it for your album? Ah! Mr. Wright, what exactly is this album? It's called Path to Glory. It's a collection of pictures of the Steel Samurai, all taken by Cody Hackins. He claims it's a perfect collection of every battle the Steel Samurai has won. I... I see. Don't you find this very odd, Your Honor? Among all his pictures of the Steel Samurai, none were taken that day. Order! Mr. Wright, have you an explanation? If the Steel Samurai had just defeated his adversary, I certainly would expect to see a picture of it in this album. Exactly my point, Your Honor. No! Wait! No way! Phoenix! I think we finally discovered the truth. And what a truth it is! <laughs> Mia! Are we sure about this? Did he actually... Oh, don't tell me... Don't tell me you're gonna try to pin the child! That's ridiculous! Yes. I'm pretty sure what you're thinking is right. Tell them, Phoenix. Tell them what the truth is. No, not right now. Not this time. I'm going to save that for next time. Um, I know I usually do court investigation, court investigation kind of separately, but there's a lot of court. There's a lot of investigation at this point. So I'm going to leave this video here. We'll finish up it with it next time. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, push that like button and so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Got any suggestions for me? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to check out any footage that I've done in the past or I'm currently working on now, just click the box down over there. Or if you want to check out the rest of this playlist for this game, I'll have a box over here for it. Just click the box over here. I was going to try to phrase it differently. It didn't work. In the meantime, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!